welcome back to my channel Avanti Morocha. This video is sponsored by Cricut. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to personalize ornaments with your Cricut machine. I'm going to use Cricut Make It, but you could also use Cricut Explore 2 or Cricut Joy. Now let's begin. There are a large variety of images from Cricut Access that you can use for this project. Here are a couple of examples. My only recommendation is to use designs with thick strokes. You can also make your own designs in Cricut Design Space using text and forms. For this project I'm using these glass ornaments and these plastic ornaments. I'm also using acrylic paint. Place about one third of the paint inside the ornament, move and shake it until it's completely covered. Now place it in a container facing down, the extra paint will drip into it. Let it dry for 24 hours. I repeated the same steps with the glass ornament. If you want to save time, buy the ornament of the color you wish to use instead of painting them. I'm going to use these designs for these ornaments. All of these are Cricut Access images. I added some text to this one. I'm going to share the link to this project on my blog avantimorocha.com. If you follow me on Design Space, you can find this project in my shared projects. To be able to use these designs, you need to be subscribed to Cricut Access. Now I'm going to show you how I put together this design. Go to images, type the first letter of the last name that you want to use. This is a Cricut Access image and it is available in all the letters of the alphabet. Insert image, modify the dimensions, add text, the smiths, modify the dimensions, go to text and type the year. When making this kind of project, I recommend avoiding thin or tiny letters because they are hard to transfer. Select the pieces and click on Attach. This design is ready to be cut. Now that I show you the process, I'm going to delete it. Before continuing with this project, I will show you what to do if you only want to use a name or a particular phrase to customize the ornament. Here I have the name Gabriela. I'm going to show you how to prepare text to be used in this project. Go to text. I'm going to use a Cricut font. The name is Quarter Note, but you can use your preferred font. I'm going to type Gabriela. I'm going to modify the dimensions so you can see what I'm doing. First, change the fill color to white. Now I'm going to change the space between the letters. Go to the text editor bar. I'm going to modify the space between the letters. Now click on advance and ungroup the letters. This allows you to move each letter independently. Changing the fill color to white allows you to see the overlap between the letters. If you send the name to cut at this moment, each letter is going to be cut as a single piece. First, you need to select the letters and click on Weld. Now, these letters are going to be cut as a single piece. This name is ready to be cut. Now I'm going to continue with this project. Click on Make It. Continue. Select the material, vinyl. I have already loaded the fine point blade. Now I'm going to load the mat. Load the mat and start the job. I fast forwarded this part of the video. The process to cut these pieces took five minutes. Now I'm going to cut each design. I start with it, that is removing the extra material. Don't forget to remove the vinyl inside the leathers. I also cut two pieces of transfer tape. 
If you are using Cricut transfer tape, make sure you are using the regular kind. Cricut also has a strong grip tape that should be used with glitter vinyl. Peel the transfer tape. Place it over the design. Scrape the front and back to ensure the design gets transferred. Now, starting from the corner, remove the backing. Place the design in the center. Make sure all the parts of the design are touching the ornament. In some cases, and depending on the design, you may need to make some slits in the transfer tape to properly place the designs, since this is not a flat surface. Use your scraper to make sure the design is transferred to the ornament. Remove the transfer tape. Flatten any wrinkle or bubble you find. Now I'm going to transfer this design. I have already placed the transfer tape, scrape the front and back. Starting from the corner, remove the backing. Place it on the ornament. Placing the design as flat as possible in a sphere can be challenging. For this, I recommend making a slits in the transfer tape. Make sure all the pieces are in contact with the ornament, as flat as possible. Scrape the top to ensure the vinyl gets transferred. Now, remove the transfer tape. In this kind of ornaments, it's easier to remove the transfer tape in pieces. Flatten any wrinkles or bubbles. As you can see, the ornament looks fantastic. For these ornaments, I have followed the same steps. As a final detail, I add a little bow to each ornament. Now, I'm going to make some ornaments for my pets. For this, I'm going to use Cricut Adhesive Vinyl. I'm going to share the link to this project on my blog avantimarocha.com and if you follow me on Cricut Design Space, you will find it in my share projects. These are Cricut Access images, so you need to be subscribed to be able to use them. To personalize this ornament, double click on the text and change the name to your pet. Now, place it over this area, modify the dimensions, Select both elements and click on a slice. And now this ornament is ready to be cut. I'm going to hide these layers. Now click on make it. I'm going to cut these designs in two different colors of vinyl. To save time, I'm going to place one piece of vinyl here and the other piece of vinyl here. Now click on continue, select the material, vinyl. I have already loaded the fine point blade and now load the mat. Load the mat and start the job. I fast forwarded this part of the video. The process of cutting these pieces took two minutes. Remove the pieces from the mat. Cut each piece. I have all the pieces I need and I also cut a piece of transfer tape. Remove the extra material. Now remove the vinyl from the inside to show the negative space. Do the same with this piece. Place the transfer tape over the circle. 
Scrape the front to make sure it transfer. Place it over the ornament. Scrape the top. Remove the transfer tape. If you prefer, instead of using vinyl, you could paint this area. I'm going to place the same piece of transfer tape over the design. Scrape the front and back. Starting from the corner, remove the backing. Center the design. Scrape the area to make sure the design gets transferred. Now peel the transfer tape. I repeat the same steps with this ornament. As you can see, they look fantastic. I hope you like this project and if you make it, don't forget to share a picture on my Facebook page or tag me on Instagram. I would love to see it. These personalized ornaments are the perfect gift for your loved ones. There are many things you can make with your Cricut machine, like personalized t-shirts, pillowcases, family sign names, coasters, and more. If you are interested in a Cricut machine, I'm going to share the links where you can buy it in the info box below the video. Be on the lookout for great deals on Cricut coming this Black Friday. I will share the deals I find on my social media. If you are new to my channel and you like what you see, hit the subscription button, tap the notification bell so you get informed every time I release a new video. Don't forget to visit my blog, follow me on my social media, like this video and share it with your loved ones. See you soon. Ciao, ciao.